Have you ever dreamt of being rich beyond wonder? In your dreams, Alice. We'll meet those who are in a minute. For now, here's 50% of the world's population. The poor half. Lump together every penny they own, and you have the combined wealth of enough of the world's richest to fit in a small bus. I am the driver of that bus, and I'll be taking them and you to see just where that cash goes and what it gets up to. The stop. The tax haven. Home to one thick for the world's private wealth. Some are tropical paradises. Most are. But whatever the weather, money makers. Here, your investment firms, banks, hedge funds, asset managers, brokerage companies, insurance companies, pension funds, and venture capital fund managers make sure riches that could have been taxed to improve life won't. But it's not hanging about either. In fact, it's off to get a suntan. Alan Asway's land has been home to our community since the first dawn. Now, it's a target for speculation. Land around the world has become something to buy and sell in complex financial games. But while you've got it, squeeze it. And it's not much profit to be made from untouched nature and small farms, so locals are forced off to shanty towns, while large-scale projects are in, such as this industrial monoculture. The stuff it produces isn't usable locally, and the water's so dry to make it. Investors are just distant shareholders, so none of the resulting mess is any of their concern. And nor is the health of anyone with a cheek to complain. Alan Asway! Healthcare's there to deal with life's little surprises. But now, surprise, surprise! <coughs> big money's involved here too. What's called public-private partnerships. Sounds good, right? The efficiency of the private sector with the dependability of the state. Poor old Aloka. Somehow, this healthcare always costs more than it used to. Or you have to pay privately for services your tax is already paid for. Still, the money has to go somewhere. Or not. What's the problem now? Get it fixed, lads. That crack loops thing. Hey, mate. The infrastructure society needs to function inevitably degrades, requiring maintenance and improvement. So why don't you lot pay your taxes? Functioning infrastructure? This lot, Alice, are interested in mega projects. Big concepts offering big returns, which often end in big disaster. With less money, public services are cut, the effects of which fall largely upon women. Pushed into debt, juggling jobs, family and education, their income tightens, and they're resettled with traditional male dominance. Time to head home. This lot don't have the fingers to count their houses, but for Elenka, it's a squeeze. There's housing out there, but prices are sky high, because properties become another investment for excess wealth. So as prices have inflated, while your income is tighter than ever. There is a trickle-down theory, which suggests that the wealth of the rich makes its way to you somehow. But in reality, the only thing trickling is the ice on a warming planet. Science has pointed out that if we don't do something soon, we're as doomed as that dodo. But for some reason, banks are still pumping their billions into fossil foolishness. Adding money become more important than the continuation of life itself. Financialization is capable of reaching every part of the planet, every aspect of society and life. And those dreams Alice has of a greener, brighter future have no hope if the world's wealth is spent on speculation, creates debt and inequality, and influences politics to protect its privileges. The end. Or is it? The game is rigged and not in your favour, but it still relies on you. Your acceptance. Your apathy. Your ignorance. It's your move. Who you choose to vote for. Who you put your money with. The campaigns you give your voice to. If the old lot of us come together, we can show that a game that plays with the things we love is nothing but a pack of cards. And that vague dream of a better world can become 
a reality.